Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just made a video about drawing something symmetrical, even on both sides. And if you have X8 or above, there is a tool. I believe it's X8 and above, the new symmetry tool. And I'm just going to get rid of that one I had made. And I'm just going to make one. So I'm going to take a rectangle, and I'm going to get it pretty close to my center line. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna to go to object, new symmetry. Now it kind of moved it over, so I'm gonna, it made me a new line, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer. They don't have to be touching yet. But if you wanted to look what it's gonna look like at the same time, let's just grab the, the twirl tool and about right there, put in a twirl. Now you wouldn't be able to do this equally again because it's all done on time and, and pressures. But if you like that, you could finish it and then take this and ungroup it. And that way you kind of look at, see what both sides are doing. Let's uh, break link apart, still go to object and ungroup it. And then you could put these two halves together just by moving and have them, I guess I still got to select them both, go to object, Nope, they're ungrouped. There we go. And then just weld that. And then you have that shape. Because there's no way that I know of that you could use that tool or any tool and do it evenly on both sides. Let's just draw another one. I really like playing with this tool. You can go up to object, symmetry, start a new one. And what it does, you could have one copy of it. So we could draw like this, and it made one copy, or you can have two copies and have it down there. And I know you couldn't do it four times if you had to do this, if you were trying to draw something perfectly uh, straight. So we'll use the twirl tool again, click on that item. And what it does, it does it to all four of them. And how much better can that be? And you could even do things like this. You could finish it, break it apart, go up to group, ungroup it all, grab that one and mirror it, mirror it. And then you've got the same direction. And these, I don't know if these are touching yet, but these aren't. So we could grab both these grabbing that node right there when you get the corner and have it go here. Let's try to weld it. How else could you draw that and be that precise? Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.